I like my original version of the uh, shade that I made for my drone remote, but it was cardboard. And I was trying to think of a more durable way of creating one. And I remembered I had scrap for mica lying around. So this is the exact same design, only I made it from pieces of Formica. And since it's Formica and not cardboard or foam core, I could Velcro it together. And it really works out well. Let's try it one handed here. And as you can see, it's a nice little sunshade. I got the cutouts for the clamp for the bracket and the cutout for the USB port. This is for my Samsung Galaxy Tab 2. And since it's Velcro, I mean, see it pulls apart nicely. You have to loose it for a couple hours so it sets up, otherwise the Velcro tab to pull off. But when you want to store it, it just folds up nice and flat. And the duct tape I used is uh, the T-Rex tape, mainly because the color matched my Velcro. I also like the Gorilla duct tape. They're very, very similar. Um, I think the T-Rex has a little better glue. You know, that's really my opinion. Um, the first day, step I did when putting this thing together was I took a piece of that sc my scrap for mica and I spray painted the inside black. It's actually a matte black. It's pretty nice. The regular color for mica on the inside is this off gray and pretty glossy. So this mats it down so you're not going to get the reflections. The holes in the for mica I cut using a uh, Dremel tool. That's really the only way you can do it. Um, stinks and makes a lot of dust, but does a pretty good job cutting them. So basically I used the cardboard one as my first one, and I liked how it worked. I used it a few times, but like I say, this the durability was bugging me. So this should last a heck of a lot longer. Plus, since it is for mica, if I want to make a really durable version, I could always put small hinges in here. And they also make adhesive hinges that you can buy and stick on there, so that would work too. But right now I'm going to try this uh, duct tape and see how it works because my cost in making this thing was 25 minutes of time and that was it since I had everything lying around. I got boxes of old Velcro, the duct tape, and the Formica. I also gave it one final step when I was all said and done. I test fed it everything and I realized that my, uh, my flaps overlapped the cutout for the USB cable. so I took my Dremel and give that a quick cut out. Um, and one thing I should point out too is you should take all your corners of your mica and round them off with sandpaper because they can get really really sharp. I also just hit this thing with a coat of spray paint on the inside. You kind of see how I use the spray paint lid or cap as a protector for the velcro so I didn't get paint on it. This way I kind of finished off all the edges in black and I also covered up the exposed parts of the tape with paint and that way they're, they're no longer adhesive. You don't want to use too much paint because you don't want to get it into your tape seams and loosen the adhesive up. But that way it's a nice finishing touch and you have a nice totally matte black inside and nice black edges when it's finished. 